Your boy Ziggler Wiggle, you understand me? Back at you like I left, so I'm looking at you, check this out. No Lazine TV, you understand me? We represent New Orleans. This man travel all over the world. In the name of Jesus, we believe. No Lazine TV. This Dino by the way, bitch, you know that. And you're now tuned in with No Lazine TV. I'm like, tell everybody where you from. I'm from the west side. <laughs> yeah, from the west side, I'm from the west bank. I'm from the Heights. Avondale. Hey, but no Global. No Lazine Global. Hey, we travel 50 states. Mm -hmm. Like, where is it? Like, where is it? Avondale. Jefferson Parish. In New Orleans. Tell them they got it. <laughs> <laughs> People don't know what that's at. Oh, in the city, in New Orleans. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. On the west bank. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I was like, you gotta tell exactly. Yeah. Okay. So growing up on the West Bank, tell me, you know, you know, hey, but just tell them I'm um, like a little bit, um, hey, but tell them I'm um, like a little bit, um, um, like about your like upbringing back there, you know. Was it good, bad? No, no, bad. Bad? Yes. They crazy. They won't fight you for anything. Fight bad, really bad. It's terrible on the West Bank. No, it's not. Yes, it is. When you're pretty. When you're pretty? They gonna fight you about everything. Oh, but you must have highlight them girls' dudes or something. What you was doing? <laughs> oh, my makeup sick. They just don't like me. Okay. Also, being one bounce artist, growing up, I'm like, who influenced you before I like, start making music? No, baby. He booked my first studio session. He told me I should go make bounce music. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna just go. Because he kept telling me I have the voice for it. So I went and made my first song. And it did numbers, of course. <laughs> also, what's your first I'm like bounce song was? Uh like, so people don't know. My first bounce song was Check Myself. That's a lie. But <laughs> <laughs> about the background, so that's a lie. <laughs> you lying. <laughs> well, my first song didn't come out so I it was horrible. And then I went back a week later. And I did check myself. That's the first song I put out. Okay. It did numbers, but I was just like on some. I wanted to rap the whole bounce song. That's why my first song was horrible. So I was like, I gotta find a way to put the shaking with the rapping. And that's how. Yeah. Okay. I got my own little style. All right. So, tell us, I'm like, what's your favorite song? on like that you made, and I'm telling people why. My favorite song that I made, that's all it could be. Um, I'm gonna have to say West Side. Now West Side. And that's a wise one. All right, West Side is my favorite because of course I'm from the West and just everybody on the West Bank support me. Like it's a whole big thing. Like every time they see me, it's a lyric from West Side. Like it's just so crazy. It's just so lit. And then they didn't really have much West Bank songs, it was always the city, a one night war. And, and they got Maruru. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I put the Fisher with Maruru, the two popping parts on the West Bank, and I made a West Side song. Oh, but Harvey will come for you. Ah. Uh, <laughs> you said two popping parts on, on the West Bank. They, 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 really, they ain't really hot right now. They ain't really hot right now? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna let you see that on here. <laughs> somebody will come back for you. Yeah, it's West Bank. Somebody will come back for you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they, they fucking with that, but I fuck with the Moro boys and official boys more. Like, I fuck with them. That's my love. Hey, it's your enemy. <laughs> <laughs> so, so tell us how do you actually come up on like with your name? Um, uh, my brother, his name was Chino, and I used to follow him around all day, and he just used to be like, "What you want to be like me? What you want your name to be, Dino?" And that's how I got Dino, and I just put the bottle away on the end, like. By the way, but you know that, but you know what? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Very interesting. So, so tell the world, I mean, what's the average day like for you? As you know, I got off the road six this morning. Only had enough time to take a bath and meet him here for one. That was a six-hour drive. Like every, at first it was weekends, now it's weekdays. Like I don't do New Orleans shows no more. It's a personal issue. Your city really just don't be 
on that type of timing. But now I be out of town and out of state, so it's just be hitting that road, traveling three, four, five, six hours. So every day I'm um, hair, makeup, nails, hitting the road, coming back, trying to sleep, hitting the road, getting hotels. Like it's terrible. Trying it's to like record. You're the driver, assistant, or something. <laughs> what? I'm talking. This stuff is horrible. Then it's trying to do my studio sessions, shoot videos, photo shoots, back to hitting the road. Like it feel like I'm famous already. That's a good thing. I know. There's a lot of artists. We just love Chick Fil A, yeah. and the girl walked up to the car. And she like, oh my God, Dino. He like, we can't go nowhere. There's artists in New Orleans that nobody knows. So you know you gotta, you know yeah, you gotta. Yeah, that's gotta good. I'm grateful. Like thank God that I'm, you know. There's I'm a lot of artists that that's, that, yeah. that don't get no shoes or nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I can't go nowhere. I can't. It just be terrible. So I'm like, do you have any? I'm like, projects coming up. Yeah, I'm about to drop a lot of stuff, but this week I'm about to drop a new song, a new bounce song called Her Nigga. Her Nigga? Sounds very interesting. Very. I think it's going to be a hit of the summer. I don't oh, so what I is it about? Her Nigga. Okay. Her Nigga. He buy me what I want. He do it because I do it with these ugly hoes, though. <laughs> yeah, so hype shit. We about to cut up this whole summer. <laughs> it's still gonna be a West Side summer for sure though. Also being a bounce artist in New Orleans, well being a female bounce artist in New Orleans, mm -hmm. do you feel like do you feel like the other bounce artists actually I'm mean, gonna support you? Um most of them do. Like Treaty, Vicky Low. Treaty is a combination of both. Vicky too, like everybody do bounce and rap, but Treaty. Yeah, Treaty said in the interview, like she'd rather be a rapper. <laughs> yeah, she, she, she the rapper is tough. Out. She got that down pat. But Treaty, Vicky, they, like I said most, when I first came out as an artist, every artist supported me, but it just went to slacking as I went to going. But, yeah, you if you pass somebody, but they'll be like, mm, I don't know. Yeah, it be like that, but. Fuck, I still listen to this shit. It's all hard to me. We all hard, but you know, friendly competition, how they be, but fuck. Hey, so, I'm like, what about the, I'm like, Mel, I'm like, Bounce Artist. Oh, they all love me. I forgot all of them. Hey, because your boy got the hottest song in the world. Hot Sizzle. I already know you took him home. Yes. He got, I got he got grown ass. I got a ticket Hot Sizzle. If he got grown ass, we screaming out in the day. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yes, he, he is on fire right now. And he deserved that. He been putting in that work. Is it good to put in that work and be moving with that shit and finally, you know, be somewhere that's a great accomplishment when you, like you said, most people not really popping like that. All right. So I, yeah. Well, I, honest truth, it was me from, it was just me looking, just just watching, like the bounce artist been popping. Yeah. It's like the world just didn't know no, what to do. No, just like all this pierce, like it's not even that, like it feels good. Like you could be a bounce artist and make a song, but not make a hit. Like the city know you hear the city screaming, but to hell, everybody screaming that shit. Like everybody screaming, you know, West Side thinking out loud. My whole that's good. Like not only New Orleans, not just bounce. Like you got people that don't even listen to bounce. They be like, you make me want to listen to bounce. Like it be like that. Okay. So tell us, I'm like, what separates you? I'm like from other artists. For one, half of them lying to me. I keep it all the way true. I ain't know people lie about songs. They be cows. <laughs> you almost can't stop no. Never mind. They can do what? No, nothing. <laughs> you already cursed them. You might well keep the you might keep the interview exclusive. They be cap, they be capping my everything. They could go make a fight song, really don't know how to fight. Like they could make a song. They just be cap like they just be wanna do it like they don't be in it for the music part, they be in it for the cloud part. I'm really in it for the music part. That's what's separating me. Like, I'm really in it for the music. Like, my money. For so music artists. Yeah, like, I'm in it for the music. Like, yes. Okay. And I don't care about nothing. Like, I'm really like that. Like, all the way around the board. I'm, I don't want do that social media fussing with y'all. Y'all be capping. I'm really like that. I'm a street bitch at the end of the day. I get it on way about it. But I've been chilling on making my money. Like, I don't be with all that no more. If it's about money, I really don't want to be any. If it's not about money, I don't. I know more. The older I get. But I still. 
<laughs> I just don't understand. So, has there ever been one point in your music career I'm like, me you just want to give up? Um. Uh, yeah. Facts, big facts. Especially when I first started, it was just like, it was love, love, and then when I started getting popping, it was hate, it was lies, drama. It's just, I'm like, man, if we come with all this, I don't got time. But then I'm like, fuck, I've been dealing with that shit all my life before the music. Like, just keep making them sick. Like, there's nothing I could do if y'all mad. So, and giving up is not an option, because like I said, I'm in it for the music. Boy. I don't care about the rest of it. Okay. So, for your, you know, well, and for Louisiana, though, do you feel like local DJs, radio stations, and blogs, Oh, man, do you feel like I'm um, gonna do a better job at like breaking all this music? Um, I never had a problem with it. Like, I like as far as New Orleans DJs, never had a problem with it. Never. Like, they all support me and I support them too. Especially Chicken Wing. Okay. And CJ and RBD. I forgot them. That's yeah, what you want to keep naming or something? You just, yeah. <laughs> you just going on. Yeah, they all, yeah. If you got shout out all your DJs that you can support you. Huh? If you got to shout out all your DJs. I just did. If it's only three, I know they got one. Um. <laughs> Don't worry about it. My DJ, who I hit the road with all the time, HBK, like he been supportive since jump, so I can't forget him. But as far as like on the streets like support me, like that's his job. That's what he going to do because he been with me from jump. Right. He going to support me. And hey, but the other one's not with you. Yeah, yeah, they not with me and they support the hell out of me, but HBK, like, he 100%, yeah, team, by the way, that's my DJ, I fuck with him. Okay, so, tell us, I'm like, what do you enjoy most about the music industry? And tell us, also, I'm like, what do you actually, I'm like, hate about the music industry? I hate that everybody really can't work together, like, they always wanted to be competition, and then try to make it seem like the next person hating, when it's really not that, because I don't come from there, like, I always was love, so it's never like, like, I have no reason to grow up to just be a hateful person, like, but they have so much hate in them, they'll make it seem like, you oh, they hating, they hating, like, I hate that we can't work together, because I know if, like, all the bounce artists really work together, like, all that shit would be farther, bounce would be way farther than what it is. And I love the money, of course. And the shows, meet my fans, like, all over. Like, not just in Louisiana, like, in different states, and how much they love me. And the getting cute, of course, like, always gotta get cute. Like, that's the best part. Like, I get wigs, <laughs> and I get any color nails, makeup. I just like getting cute and just going and performing. Like, that's the best part, like, the performing part, the cutting up. Cause they really be cutting up and knowing that shit word for word. Like it be amazing. Be like I wrote this and y'all learned this and not just one. It's all y'all. Like that's legit. Okay. So you still didn't tell us actually. I mean, what do you actually? I'm mean, hate about it though. I told you. What I you hate do? that everybody can't work together. Like the oh, boss community. You gotta go in. I, and I know it's more than that than you hate. Oh, <laughs> that's it. That's it? Yeah, like okay. everything else lit to me. Like my bounce life is really lit. It's lit, huh? Mm, so lit. <laughs> All right. So, do you feel like you have to move I'm like, out of your city? I'm like, once your music career, I'm going like, to reach a certain milestone? Yeah, because they just want to stay. Like, I just, I moved, but I, I shouldn't have, but I did move. But I be down here so much. Like, oh, so you moved? Sure. But you, <laughs> it was you always down here anyway. Yeah, so it's either get in the room or go and sleep at mom's, like. She just, she might just come back, huh? Yes, but I can't. They won't. No, I can't. I definitely understand. Yes, I can't. <laughs> but they ain't see me a lot down here. I'll be down here a lot, but they ain't nothing to, you know, catch that 30 minute flight. I'll drive them six hours. You wouldn't know if I'm here or gone. Okay. So, so, like three years from now, I'm like, where do you see your, I'm like, music career going? I see it farther than what it is. I really see me far, like, really rich somewhere because I've been doing this about three years now and I made a lot of progress than what I did at first. I decided to make legal geniuses and me and Black working on something, so something big. Oh, shout out Black and Facts. Shout out Black. 
he's the best. <laughs> so, like, I see myself father because we really working on some big shit. So, I see myself far with this bomb stuff in three years, most definitely. Okay. So, um, so what's your advice? I'm telling one, I'm like, well, I'm like, what's your advice? I'm telling one, I'm a younger female that's trying to follow, I'm like, in your footsteps. I can't tell nobody what to do. Somebody, you know, I you really, got fans all over. It's yeah, wild. I can't really tell the young ones what to do, but they love me, so they gonna rap what I say. <laughs> but as long as they stay in school, I don't care what they saying. Hey, but what happens when they get out of school and want to follow? <laughs> I'm like, your bad. You know what's your advice to? <laughs> oh my god, I ain't even gonna lie. I don't recommend. <laughs> The money good, but I don't recommend y'all doing it. But if it's what you love and you love music, do it. Don't let nobody stop you. They gonna hate. Keep doing that shit. Keep rapping. Cause that's what I had to do. It wasn't really trying to upset me and fuck with me like that. I had to force my way in. So if that's what you wanna do, do it. Don't just do it for the clout. Do it cause that's what you wanna do. So yeah. So um, tell us, all right, what's next for you? Know. Ever, do you plan on, on like dropping merch, traveling more? Yeah, I'm ever starting your own label. I have um the team by the way team like with my dancers, my DJ, my cameraman, my security, and they travel with me and do shows. That's as far as the label, the team by the way. But I really don't want to start a big label because I want to build what I got going on with musical genes. Like I want that to be one. See what I'm saying? Right. So I really don't. And what else shakes? Do you plan on I'm like dropping I'm like your own? I'm yeah, like um, I wanted to drop some team out of way gear. But I think my well I call myself Miss Make the Whole Sick, cause that I do. So I wanna drop some Miss Make the Whole Sick gear, but I have to find something I really like. I'm picky. Like some every girl of well. So that's coming soon. I'm still shopping around. Okay. And also uh, but last but not least, tell everybody I'm like, where can they find you at on social media and just other like, music platforms? Um, on all music platforms, it's Dino by the way. Instagram, Dino by the way with two W's. That's on YouTube, SoundCloud, iTunes, Spotify, whatever you look on. Google, you can Google me. Yes, I'm Googleable, if that's a word. Dino by the way, you can even type in Miss Make Those Sick, it's gonna come up. That's where you can find me. Oh, wait a minute. No Lazine make them whole screen. You understand me? You want a t-shirt? You want a half a wife beater with a hole in it? You want a pair of short pants with six holes in it with all your coochie hanging out on the side? Holler at your people, baby. Ziggler Wiggy, you understand me? Lightning cock on this B-L-O-C-K, you understand me? A beautiful day.